babe. I wasn't right. recording when you did that. <laughs> Quit trying to be cute. It's still not recording? Yeah, it is now. Hey guys, so on this day I'm doing uh, my chest and triceps. So I start out doing a barbell bench press. Um, I have Philip here helping me today um, on this one anyway, just because it's a little bit heavier for me. I'm using two 45 pound plates. Um, and then I I'm going to go ahead and do these here after those. I do a drop set. Um, so you want to do four sets of six to eight. I only did six. Um, and then, like I said, on your final set, you want to do a drop set just to the max that you can. After that, I go into a barbell incline. Um, my actual incline was a little bit too high, um, so I kind of struggled with my form here a little bit. So next time, I need to set my bench down a little bit lower. But I'm going to do three sets of six to eight. Again, I just did six and then do a drop set on your final set. Then you do the incline dumbbell flies, three sets of six to eight reps, and then again a drop set on the final. Um, I felt good on these. I did notice though, uh, my left arm is not nearly as low as my right arm. A lot of that could be mobility I need to work on, but it's also a strength factor. My left arm is my weaker arm, so in the video you can notice it doesn't go quite as low. But here I'm doing the drop set, so you immediately put the weight down, grab a little bit lighter weight, and then again go right back into it and just do as many as you can. Um, I tried to do 12 to 15 um, on each of my drop sets. Um, after that I'm going to go over to my pulley system um, and I'm going to do um, just tricep press downs. Um, I kind of played around with this a little bit trying to find the right weight so I'm not really sure how I feel about that. But again I did three sets of six to eight and then on the last one I did a drop set. I went to go push pause and I kind of liked the lighting for my shoulders so I decided to check myself out. Who knows? Hmm. My shoulders still I can't get that rear delt. I know it's only been three weeks but I guess everyone expects some magic at some point to happen here. I'm going to do my lying tricep extensions. I start out using dumbbells but I didn't um, feel like I was getting the most out of it on this one. I felt like I was losing form a little bit so I decided to go over to the cable pulley system that I have and I did my tricep overhead extensions that way and I actually preferred it better that way. Again it's three sets of six to eight reps um, and then do the drop set on your final. I then went over um, and just adjusted it a little bit, stood up and I did overhead uh, extensions. Um, three sets of six to eight and then drop set um, for your final one and then I was done and then you see I'm doing Insanity Asylum. Holy cow man, this one that just really stinks. It was difficult from beginning to end. Uh, trying to figure out the footwork I think is what was probably the hardest part of the entire thing. It comes with a jump rope that you see here but again the jump rope and I were not getting along. It wasn't set to where I needed it to be so I finally just gave up. Um, he gives you short little bitty breaks in between, but they're really not a lot of breaks. This is the one move I could actually figure out how to do. Uh, <laughs> that was easy. The rest of them, there's a lot of footwork that goes into it. And so I think it's just a matter of learning the basic steps and then building on them. And I think I'll be fine, but it was really trying me for this. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll let this video play out and then I do a full review of the Asylum 2. If you have questions, please comment below or uh, message me in if you have any questions about Insanity Asylum 2. I'll try to bring you some more videos as we go. Uh, but anyway, that was it. A great chest day. I felt wonderful afterwards. I was looking at my chest muscles. I felt good. I'm really enjoying this uh, program that I'm doing right now. And so we'll see how it happens. Like I said, three weeks in. I'm really not down a lot of weight, but there you go. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys.
just did a voiceover for my first routine, so I'm not going to go over it. Um, but I will say this, it was super difficult to do um, the, and I'm doing the Insanity Asylum 2, um, along with, I'm doing it three days a week, so I should be doing it on my off days, um, because the bodybuilding routine I'm doing right now has three days off a week, um, and so I'm going to do um, Insanity Asylum on my three days off. I did not do that today. I was just kind of, I had a bad day as far as food goes. I kind of cheated a little bit. Um, so I wanted to try to make up for some of the calories. So I went ahead and did Agility X from Insanity uh, Asylum 2. Really great routine, um, super difficult. The moves itself are not difficult, but um, the actual workout is difficult. Um, it is just the warm up alone has you absolutely exhausted and covered in sweat. Um, and so this was uh, by far some of the hardest cardio I've done in a long time. Um, it's super hot in my garage as well. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about Insanity Asylum 2. Um, I like Insanity Asylum 2 a little bit better than Asylum 1. In Asylum 2, um, you it's a little bit more uh, weight lifting involved, so to speak of. Not heavy weight lifting. You won't get muscle mass, so to speak of, from it. But you'll get nice definition um, from this routine. Because you can't use... I'm sorry, I'm just like... A dripping waterfall. It's like literally just dripping down. I don't know if you can see it. It's literally just dripping off my armpits, all down my arms. Look at this. Ugh. That is disgusting. <laughs> but, uh... I don't even remember what I was saying, guys. It's a horrible interview, but oh well. Anyway, Asylum 2. It is util It comes with, um, it doesn't come with the ladder and the, uh, the jump rope. So you can either buy Asylum 1 and it comes with the full package, so it's a little bit more expensive. Or you can buy Asylum 2. Um, it's a little bit less expensive, but it's just because it doesn't come with the ladder and it doesn't come with the jump rope. Um, you could buy Asylum 2 and then just buy the ladder and jump rope separately. Or you can just become a Beachbody On Demand a club member. And then you'll have access to both of the programs for free. Um, it's not really free because you're paying a small monthly fee. Um, but guys, it's like so cheap. Um, it's a lot less expensive than a gym membership. I think it's like $2.95 a week is what you're paying, something like that. Um, super, super cheap. And you have access to like all the videos, just about all the P90Xs, um, all the Insanities, except for Insanity Max. Uh, it's not on there yet because it's one of the newer programs. So none of the brand new programs will be included in this. You have to buy it um, separately. But they're offering now digital copies. So instead of buying the actual DVDs, you can just buy permission to have it, so to speak, of in your library, and you get a digital copy in your library. It still comes with a nutrition guide, it still comes with a calendar, it still comes with all that stuff. Um, you just don't have the actual DVDs, so the only downfall to that is, um, if you ever decide that you don't want On Demand anymore, you don't get to keep the program because obviously it's part of your On Demand library. So that's just a side note, but back to Asylum 2. If you do on demand, you can just buy the ladder and the jump rope separately. You'll actually see, I'll put the whole video, but I'll put it in speed motion. Um, man, I had to take breaks constantly because it was just absolutely murderous. I just did chest and triceps, and there's a lot of push-ups and planks in today's routine. And so my chest and triceps were just absolutely dying. I had to drop to my knees to do push-ups. There's times where I couldn't even do the push-ups. I had to let them go. Um... I had a lot of trouble with the footwork um, because it is going so fast. It's like in, out, far, far, front, back, you, hoppity, hippity, hoppity, turn. Yeah! And I'm just like, I don't know. So I just tried to move. And it's funny is because I remember when I did this program years ago with my husband, this was my exact same review. Is It was a lot of fun. It keeps you busy. The 45 minutes just flies by. It doesn't feel like it's 45 minutes. Um, I won't lie, the last 20 minutes, <laughs> 15, 20 minutes, you just sit here and you're staring at the clock going, oh my God, is it not moving? Because it doesn't feel like it's moving. But it is. Um, 
but trying to learn the movements is what's the most difficult part, but just stick with it. Try to just keep moving as much as you can, even if you're not doing the right movement. So there's many times I was not doing anything near where they were doing it, so don't watch me and expect to see perfection because that's not what you'll see. You're just going to see the pure reality of I was struggling trying to figure it out. Um, but I do know that the more that I do this routine, the more that I'll learn it because it's the same basic steps. Um, he just keeps building on it. So instead of just a basic um, front, back, back, let's see, it's front, front, back, back, out, out, which is the basic, and then in, in. Then the next time you do it, he'll have you go front, front, back, back, out, out, in, in, back, back, and then you just keep re doing it again. So he builds on it slowly, and so it's just repeating the same basic step and adding a little bit to it. So stick with it. It'll come to you. I'm hoping <laughs> next time I do this, I hope I don't look quite like a fool like I did today. Um, I floundered around a little bit with the jump rope as well because I just opened up the jump rope, and it is way too long. So I was trying to figure out how to make it shorter real fast, and I wasn't having any luck doing that, so then I just threw the jump rope to the side, and I just went through the jump rope movements with it. Um, the only time he really used the jump rope is in the very beginning to do the warm-up, and again, it's just to get the blood flowing and your heart rate up. Um, and then after you get through like the first 10 minutes of warm-ups, when you think you're doing the routine, then he has you do like a slow little stretch for a few minutes, brings the heart rate down, and then he kicks your butt all over again. <laughs> And so it's a lot of fun, and he does push you to your limits. The last eight minutes um, really pushes you, and it pushes you mentally. Um, just try to do what you can and just keep going, guys. So that's my review. And this is not, I know some of you are probably wondering what this is. Look, I look like I peed. I don't know if you can see that. Looks like I, maybe I can do the swatch. Do you see this? Like, all that <laughs> that is not a shadow guys that is like sweat <laughs> literally just sweat everywhere um this is not a squeam um this is just to make me sweat a little bit more like i really need it but um <laughs> if you can see it's just like literally just dribbling with water and now my stomach is um, dribbling with water as well. I mean, you can just, it's just coming off. It's in my belly button. Um, but it's just basically to help pull out any moisture that you do have, and it makes your abs look a little bit better. Like right now, woo, especially under the light, man. I have abs. Um, anyway, it's just to make you, when you're doing your cardio, it helps you sweat out all the sweat detox your belly area because uh, you'll tend to carry a lot of water weight in your abdominal area so it's just again it's just to help me with uh, to make myself sweat a little bit more and now I've got to go wash this thing because it is absolutely disgusting like horrifically disgusting even even the back of me I don't know if y'all can see that it's like soaked. My entire butt is soaked. Anyway, if you have questions about Asylum, let me know. Um, highly enjoyed it. I highly recommend it. Um, it's a great routine. It is very difficult. It is definitely not for a beginner. Um, by any means, this is an advanced routine. Um, I probably will not do any of his other routines except for Agility X um, because of the fact of he has a lower body focus and he also um, an ab, so I might do his ab routine as well, just because that's one thing I do want to work on. I want to try to get better. Um, I, I want to try to get better striations through here. I don't know if you can even see it, but the, the lighting's horrific right now. But I want to try to get better obliques. Um, so I'll probably do his abs. It's like a 20 minute ab routine though. I can't even imagine. That sounds horrific. Anyway, um, but he has a lot of different ones on there. But like I said, I won't be doing them because I'm doing the bodybuilding routine. So I don't want the extra stress on my body trying to concentrate on that. So I'm just going to do this for cardio and then I'll do his core routine as well. I'll bring you along when I do them every once in a while, maybe once a week, just so that you can see that it does get a little bit easier. I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed. 
Anyway, I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I am like soaked. I've been working out for like two and a half hours, it seems like, at least. I know I have been, because my weightlifting routine was like an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and then this one here was about uh, 46 minutes, so it's been, I'm done. <laughs> my husband said, how much longer? So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna eat my post-workout, take a shower, make some videos, and relax. So anyway, um, I'm actually digging the light for my, uh, my abdominals and my shoulders right now, though, man. Look at that. And I didn't even work shoulders. But they are just, like, popping tonight. Anyway, bye, guys. I will talk to you all tomorrow.